Hey everyone, welcome back to another World of Warships Blitz video. So today, today is a little bit of a rant. Uh, we're going to talk about matchmaking, we're going to talk about CVs, and we're going to talk about the good things uh, Wargaming has done real quick. So first off, matchmaking. One of the guys in Rage posted a screenshot the other day, and it was the in, it was in battle, and it was he just edited it out, so it was just the top part of the screen, showing the ships remaining in the game, and the timer, and the score. And I, 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 I shit you not, guys, it was one cruiser, six destroyers on both teams. I don't know what tier, I don't know how many bots, but six destroyers one, and one cruiser on each team. Ridiculous. Looking at this game, two tier nine battleships versus two tier 10 battleships. The rest of it isn't bad, but I mean, just right there. Why couldn't we have a tier nine and a tier 10 on each team? You know, it seems simple enough to fix for me. Um, you know, when I jump in and do a match, I'm taking a break in the afternoon, I jump into a match. If I, God forbid, I jump into tier 10. Pull a battleship out, and I'll get a CV. If I'm lucky, another battleship on the enemy team, and five destroyers. And half of them will be bots. You know, I'll get two to three bot destroyers on each team. That's ridiculous. So, one of the things, and I don't even know if Wargaming would ever see this. Hopefully, it'll get forwarded on somehow. So, my thoughts for fixing matchmaking. Now, we can't control if there's 10 people queuing into a tier with all destroyers, and we get five destroyers on each team. You know, I, I can't see them fixing that. You know, it is what it is. But... Why is it when we're queuing in and we got to throw bots in, why are we getting bot CVs and more bot destroyers? Can we just get rid of the bot CVs and bot destroyers? Um, how much would that help matchmaking, do you think? You know, I know on NA, we see so many destroyers at the higher tiers. So we don't need to add extras, just throwing bots in there. So, and bot CVs are worthless. What's the point? So, if we could just get rid of bot CVs and bot destroyers in the matchmaking queues. You know, guys, what do you think about that? Let me know what you think in the comments. No more bot destroyers, no more bot cruisers and match... Uh, cruisers. No more bot CVs and matchmaking. Tell me what you guys think. So, I want to talk about one of the good things Wargaming did. Um, the personal challenges for the KVS. You know, I know some people will complain about the fact it was only a Tier 6 ship, but still, it's a Tier 6 premium with a camo. Fairly easy to obtain if you've got enough ships to do to do all the personal challenges with. Um, and it was out of the blue. I, You know, it was not not with any other event. It was just out of the blue. Here you go. Here's a, here's a ship if you can do it. So, you know, kudos to them. I, I love personal challenges. You know, Maybe we could talk about them improving them a little bit, but, you know, I'll take any personal challenge I can get my hands on. Another good thing that I've seen that they're doing is uh, Boblin posted it up on his YouTube channel yesterday, or today. You know, he did a stream where it was just community games in a training room, where it was just, you know, some silly stuff, you know, hide and seek and, and raid boss and... You know, some different ideas on how to, you know, make, have, you know, play some fresh little games in a training room. So apparently Wargaming is going to help them out with that and then throw them a little something for doing that for the community. So that's another uh, big thing. Now, going back to CVs, you know, like I said, no, please, no more bot CVs in matchmaking. That would be wonderful. You know, guys, I, I, I don't play CVs. I'll, I'll bring one out here and there if I have, like, a you know quick dive bomber mission I can't get rid of or something like that. But besides that, I suck with them. You know, I'm not going to lie. I'm absolutely hor horrific with a CV. My thoughts on fixing them. You know, the spotting change is really nice. You know, I have noticed a... I've noticed a, a change in the game since the spotting mechanic has changed. So, I mean, that's, like, super nice. 
So, you know, like I said, again, kudos to Wargaming for actually listening to us and, and trying to f trying to fix some stuff. My other thought on CVs, though, I don't know necessarily that we need to nerf any CV damage or change around stats on other ships AA if we get a dive bomber aiming rework. Get rid of the point, click, and forget dive bombers. You know, they're not dive bombers at this point. They're like guided missiles. You know, they almost never miss. When you go unspotted, they still know where you're at. They go after you. So, like I said, they're like guided missiles. So, if we actually had a mechanic in the game that CV players had to aim their dive bombers somewhere along the line of torpedo planes... Would that make it a lot harder for people to stack their planes to help avoid AA damage to their, to their planes? Tell me what you guys think in the comments. Let me know. But I think that would go a long way to really balancing out the CV problem. Now, going back to this game, you know, this was, this was a no-brainer. We knew this was going to happen. I knew this was going to happen as soon as we got into it. So, uh, yeah. Tell me what you guys think about matchmaking and CVs and all that. Talk to you guys later. Have a good one.